If you love them, let them go. There are signs God will show you if He wants you to let that person go, despite your love for them. These are some of the signs. The person has not accepted the future you see. You may love a person and the person loves you as well, but aside, love is spending the future together. A person may love you but is struggling to accept your future task or assignment God has assigned to you. You might be a medical doctor today, but God has programmed you to be a teacher of the word in his house tomorrow, and you have told your spouse or the person you love, but that person is not coming to terms with that decision and is finding it difficult to accept the ministry, task, and assignment God has given you. In cases like this, do not shut the issue out with the hope that person will have a change of heart in the future. If your partner does not accept or want to come to terms with this task that God has given you, the best thing to do after praying about it is to let go of that person. Do not plead or force the person to join. Believe or follow you. You have to let the person go. You do not need someone that would distract you or make you lose focus or direction or make you grow weak towards the calling of God for your life. You have not been called by man, but by God and the task he has called you to is greater than the love you have for that person. You must let go. God did not give Adam love first. God gave him an assignment before bringing Eve to him in the garden. So above all things, the work which God has called you to do is more important than the love you feel for this person. If your partner finds it difficult accepting this part, let them go. It is a sign from God. Family Acceptance When you are married to someone, you have become joint to that family and for this to happen, the family in question must accept you and you accept them. As the family accepts you, your family must also accept your spouse to be. Take a look at Boaz. Before he was able to marry Ruth, the family process was followed before he married her. The union is not just in the hands of you and your spouse. The both families are equally important. They represent God here and are the ones to permit the union. You not try to force the union if your family is refusing to accept him or her. Keep praying to God to touch their hearts and if nothing changes, it is a signal from God to let go of your partner. God does not disregard family union. A family is a unit of God's structure. If the family of Rebekah had not accepted Eliezer to go with their daughter, there was nothing Eliezer would have done and the sign God was giving a go-ahead was the acceptance from her family. If the family of the person you love is not accepting you, do not force it to happen. Pray for God to grant you access and acceptance into the family of the person you love and if it does not happen, thank God for the love for that person and move on. It is a sign from God to let go despite the love you feel. You will get someone who will love you and the family will accept you. Let go. That is what God is saying to you. Personal Beliefs and Convictions A relationship is not a day's journey. It is a process. You get to know and see things about the person you intend to spend the rest of your life with. Some things cannot be covered or hidden, and you would see what they believe and hold dear to. God might have allowed you in such a relationship to cause a change in the person's life before you make a move to spend the rest of your life together. But when such a person is unwilling to stop some of those characters or lifestyles that are not pleasing to God or are potential threats to take them away from God, you do not need any prophet to tell you that your assignment ends at that point. 
The love is there, but the zeal to remain with God is far more important and you have to let go. We might not be strong in faith and we do not need someone who is also struggling with their relationship with God or who has no regard for the things of God and has no intention of growing. We need partners who can sit and discuss how to grow in all aspects of life. But if you see or find someone who is intimidated or have negative perception or idea towards growth in your life or things that will make you two better, it is a sign to let go because the end will be disastrous if you decide to ignore. Imagine you have the dreams or passion as a lady to further your academics and become a professor in your field of study. And here is the person you love having plans to maybe open a line of business for you to run. If he does not change that plan while you are still in a relationship, it would not change in marriage. You must not turn a blind eye to that. You must let go. That is the message and instruction from God. Do not force it. God will bring someone else. Family plan. Another sign that despite the love you feel for this person, God is saying you should let go is family plan. We all know what we want and are sure how it should be. And if the person you want to settle down with is having or seeing it differently, we might have to let go because it is God's way of communicating with us. Probably you are sure of the type of home and family you want, and you want to reside in a particular city, but the person you are in love with does not want to stay in the city you have decided and insists that you stay in another city. If this is not settled before marriage, issues will definitely arise. Or you want a family where you will come back to after work, but your partner who perhaps works in a different city insists on staying there for work days. These kinds of issues that seem little in the eyes can be the major reason for chaos in a relationship. See, this is not something you should ignore. Probably you know your strength and cannot bear staying away from your partner and want to be in close contact with your partner. And this seems not to be what you would get in the future. You need to let go. Do not be blinded by love. Look beyond the present and make that decision to let go now. God will bring someone who the family plan would align with yours. Health Challenge God is the giver of wisdom and we should not be blinded by love for someone and ignore God's call. One of these is health compatibility. The common one is the genotype. It has been established to avoid future pains, troubles and stress in a marriage. An AS person should not be married to someone with AS. No matter the love between the two of you, you must not continue with that relationship when this has been established. God has not called you into a stressful or pain-filled relationship. He wants you to have the best marriage and it is important to go your separate ways despite the love to avoid tears in future. You probably went into the relationship with the belief and strong conviction that the faith both of you have would carry you through. But when it becomes clearer on the ground of health compatibility, do not be ignorant or deaf to the wisdom call. God communicates and speaks to us in many ways and sometimes he uses situations around to communicate to us to get our attention. It is best to let go for the sake of the future. Religious Belief God loves us as his children, but it is also clear from scriptures that there were certain people we should get married to. Abraham instructed his servant that the wife from Isaac must not come from the people they were living with, but he must go and get a wife for his son. And this was also the instruction passed from Isaac to his son Jacob. God prefers we marry from his household. The Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. 
As a Christian, you are expected to marry from the household of God. The moment you marry an unbeliever, there is every possibility the person will come between you and your relationship with God. This will take you away from God's plan. Solomon's marriage to foreign women took him away from God.